penalizing the establishment when no one is there and charging an extra half hour. Yeah. And we used a little discretion there. However, we can revisit that. Well. No.
Seeing none. Second. Council Member Anderson? Yes. Council Vice President Egan? Yes. Council Member Fleming? Yes. Council Member Barlotti? Aye. We have ordinance 403, the ordinance we authorize and convene for conveyance of certain property to the New Public Board of Education on block 19101. Lot 103, lot, lot 211, lot 41. Anybody wish to comment on ordinance 403? Anybody from the public? Seeing none? Second. Councilmember Anderson? Yes. Council Vice President Egan? Yes. Councilmember Fleming? Yes. Councilmember Garay? Aye. 404, a bond ordinance providing for various capital improvements for the water system by and in the city department in the county of Middlesex, State, New Jersey, appropriating $2,260,108, therefore, in authorizing the issuance of $2,152,000 bonds or notes to finance the cost thereof. Would anybody from the public wish to comment on Ordinance 404? Yes, sir, Mr. Pradville. Good evening, members of the Council. Charles Pradville, 6th Warden of Brunswick. Uh, I wanted to ask, is anyone aware of the total debt load that the city currently has? I don't have the percentage, but it is well below what is the maximum for the practice of the church. And I think it's a Okay, is it more than 100 million or more than 10? More than 10 million? Um, I don't believe it is. And then, uh, I guess you probably won't have this figure, but I'd also like to figure for how much debt the city has post on it for in terms of like the parking authority. Uh, 
JT, is that something you can answer? Uh, if this is uh, the apply for it, uh, it cannot be used for salary, but if the application applies for it, then we slide it up between us and the worker. Is there a specific amount that they're asking for? Can someone explain what the number nine is and the six two uh, zoning ordinance uh, dealing with the C five district? This is required by state law to the zoning ordinance. It's in the Right, and so why are we why are we passing this? I wrote about our yeah, town. Getting town me. Um, we have provided uh, art supports grants for uh, both Crossroads Theater, uh, the uh, uh, Cultural Center, and Jewish Street uh, Playhouse uh, in, in previous years. Not structured exactly like this, but uh, for similar uh, art support. Thank you. 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 Th
Thank you. Okay, and uh, I did have the pleasure of attending the, the show this weekend on town. Now it was excellent. And everyone deserves a few credit for their involvement. It was great. Yeah. It was it was really well done, and I, I was a fan of it. Uh, I just want to ask though, so that means that the money's already been spent, right? This, this is ten thousand dollars that's already been spent, or is this a new uh, effort to, to bring this play back again? No, it's uh, going towards the, the current effort. Uh, the money hasn't been spent because we haven't council hasn't approved it yet, but we'll be going the uh, the cost of uh, production of uh, our town now. So I guess reimbursement maybe. Okay. Well, I thought it, I thought it was a great flight, um, and that's all I have. Thank you. Anybody else wish to comment on the resolutions? Only the resolutions, please. Yes, sir. Name and address, please. Anthony, I have to attend the George Street. Uh, I want to ask you about that uh, the Group One uh, rezoning. I can't. I can't find it. Uh, a number of um, but I, I, I assume you all know what we're talking about. Okay. Item number nine. Item number nine. Item number nine. Oh, we just spoke about it. Yes. Um, so would that include uh, on the border and hula hands on Route 1? Those are both on Route 1. Okay. Yes, because the problem was you know, where the Sears property is up uh, to uh, um, the river um, close most of both sides of the highway there, where you typically see the uh, uh, highway-oriented uh, restaurants uh, in that area. Mm -hmm. This just would not affect them because their restaurants are closed to having No, restaurants are a permitted use uh, uh, in the area. Uh, this is just affecting uh, establishments that are just simply bars or taverns. It does not affect uh, restaurants. Are, are there uh, currently, any bars on uh, on Route One? Not in the No. Uh, and then my other question is, okay, sorry, I'm not at this. Um, it's one of um, having to do with the fire museum. Uh, the Unity Square Fire Museum. I was wondering if that is still going to be um, completed by uh, the summer. Uh, I, I, I remember that that was that was the plan. You see the uh, the Catholic charity is having a grand opening. But Mr. Lockhart, can you oh. speak on that? The um, Unity Square office has been open for about three weeks now at the ground floor level. Uh, it is the second floor level that will be the fire museum uh, and the rough um, fitting out of that space is complete, but the uh, finer uh, museum work uh, will be a, a later date. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else on the resolutions? Seeing that? Motion. Second. And I need to abstain on 49. Thank you. Councilmember Anderson? Yes. Council Vice President Egan? Yes. Councilmember Fleming? Yes. Councilmember Barbati? Aye. Okay, uh, now we're going to move to the uh, public portion of the meeting, public discussion. If anybody has anything to address the council, now's the time. Uh, we are under a five minute rule when you get up and address the council. Uh, and that's only when you're speaking. We stop the clock when, when there's dialogue to let everybody know. So anybody who'd like to come up and address the council, we can sort of this time. Name and address, please. Keith Jones, 56 Central Avenue. Uh, I just want to read a couple things real quick. Uh, I'll be under four minutes, hopefully. Yeah. Well, we coordinates the, the, okay, cool. Coordinates the Thanksgiving turkeys uh, distributed annually to over 20 different city organizations assist in distributing each year over 600 toys to children in the city during Christmas holiday season, works within the New Brunswick school system on fire safety, public education, career days, Red Cross America, recreation, works with Robert Wood Johnson and the Civic League in New Brunswick on the annual Hill Day in the city, youth at Pontry Park, passion in working with the city's youth and the seniors of New Brunswick, works with the Huff Teen Center on programming with the youth, works with YSF Summer Programming on their annual field day. 28 years of service, of excellent service in the city of New Brunswick. 
He's also a father. Uh, he's also a friend of mine. And none of this was mentioned in uh, the witch hunt that took place and that is still taking place uh, prior to or after the unfortunate accident that took place with uh, Fire Director Ross. And what you have here today is uh, family and friends. You have uh, faith-based leaders. You have community leaders. You have uh, people who see and know this man for the stand-up man that he is, the character that he possesses, and, and we're here to support and uh, stand with Director Ross and let the public know, let the media know, uh, let the talking heads know that we won't stand and allow for this man's character to be assassinated for what was clearly an unfortunate accident. Uh, I think everybody in this room are still praying and with the, the kids and and the family of the children uh, for speedy recovery. Uh, it's an unfortunate situation. I think that the biggest uh, concern should have been where was the crossing line? That was my you know, concern. Not whether this man was drinking, not whether this man was texting, not whether this man was speeding. And before any of those facts came out, we wanted justice for this guy. We wanted him locked up. We wanted his job, and this is this is ridiculous. And we allowed his salary was put in an article that had nothing to do with the accident whatsoever. You know, so we're here today, and it was national news. I mean, this is all national news. This, and we allowed this to happen. So, uh, what you have here is a room that all most of these people got here at five o'clock and five thirty, and they sat here till it was quarter after seven now just as quiet as they want to be, looking good, smelling good, and we're here to support. And that's the that's when we will, I want this to continue. I want this to, for everybody to continue coming to these council meetings. I don't want this just to be a one-time thing where we come stand for uh, our guy, and, and then we go back to letting uh, just anybody rip them up, rip their character up. Uh, Robert Walls is, his profession is to run into burning houses and save others, no matter what color you are, you know. And, and, and we took that for granted, and we took him and tried to just assassinate this man's character. So we, what you have here today is a bunch of people that just said, no, we're not going to allow that to happen. And that goes to any publication, local or national, and that goes to any talking head that is here to assassinate this man's character. Hello. Uh, about Pittman, 291 Street, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Uh, first, I want to start by saying Thursday, I was in the gallery. I, 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 was, I, I definitely wanted to come. I didn't get to the gallery. The mayor and the guys had a first thing. Next time, walk me a ticket. I'll come. Pay the work. Also, um, <coughs> I want to address the guy that yesterday pointed to this uh, play, Our Town. And um, I went to see it. I was uh, Saturday at Grand Action. I went in there. I actually ended up walking out. I thought it, to me, it was really the rules. You know, um, it's, it's, it's short. It's, it's advertising a smoke screen in the room that don't exist. How it's, it's just a beautiful place and it's wonderful, but it didn't show the other side of the place. And I thought it was really the rules. And what's ultimately what made me walk, take my family and leave and walk out of that <coughs> play. And, and mentioned, mind you, my brother-in-law was in the play. So my brother-in-law was actually a member in the play. But what made me leave because you guys are giving history of New Brunswick, you're saying this and all types of facts in New Brunswick. You didn't even mention that New Brunswick had a black man, Al Cooper. He was nowhere in the point. Let me stop you. He didn't produce it. Oh, I'm just saying in general. Okay, I mean, okay. Let's get that back. I just wanted to be a director. Uh, okay. Right? I, I mean, so if you were to produce this, because I looked on the wall, Al Cooper's not even on the wall. Well, Most people be. won't even know that we had a black man out of this group. I played the baseball. I mean, I know, that's I know that. Okay. I'm not saying we can put the play in. Okay, well, next, well, it's going to find, it's going to come back. It's going to come back to the crossroads, and it's going to come back. They put, a, put, the, put the one and only, first the, elect, the first elected official in the history of the country. And the only mayor in the history of the brothers, shouldn't you show some respect to put that man's name in the place? 
We talked about all sorts of things. Yeah. 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 Was the woman, first woman there in the Roman Catholic? Was she, was she in the play? Was her mother in the play? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not, I'm not, you know, my focus is out Cooper because I'm not a white woman. Okay. I'm a black man. I got it. Okay. And um, also, um, I'm going to address, I think Rod, Ronnie Belfont is returning, right? He's sitting with Bob? You know what I'm saying? Mr. is returning to work on June 3rd. Okay. And how did we come to that conclusion? That was the decision of the hearing officer, and the city and the union submitted to the hearing officer. Uh, and uh, Dr. the union uh, asked for a hearing, uh, did not agree with our uh, penalty that we uh, asked for with this termination. The hearing officer issued a 30 day suspension. Okay. And what was the basis of him? As I said, the hearing officer issued only a 90 day suspension. Um, did not help uphold our request for termination. So what he was, Mr. Penny, you made a motion, sir. Yeah, you want to have a conversation with him. Yeah, so, so we, 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 the union. They had a hearing. The hearing was, was came out and they had to get his job back. Okay. So I mean, will he be returning to that department? Uh, that has to be determined. Okay, to be determined. So now, how did the rules work that? Because obviously he did nothing wrong. So if 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 nobody said he didn't do nothing wrong. He's the people that do wrong and then get punished and they get and they go back to work. So that was just a, so so that's so the uh, punishment for his actions is standard thirty day suspension. Anyway. That, 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 that is that is that it? No, no. So he, did, he did something terribly wrong. He uttered uh, a a word that no one in this room. What word was that? Well, I'm not gonna say it. What now? Well, I'll say it. No, you don't have to say yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Why do you want to say it? Because, oh, because I want to say it. Because it's a word. I didn't invent the word. Okay, well, why, I didn't create why, the word. Why do you need to say it? Okay. I didn't create the word. Tell me why you need to say it. Because that, that word has power to it. And that man you used that word. That. That that man, but that man is coming back to this department. You he's going to continue to get a silly Wait, let me speak. Let me speak. Right now. No, this is my meeting. Yeah, y'all got these pens on. Y'all can get this word. Listen. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Now I'm not talking. Okay. They wanted to terminate him. The right. city recommended to terminate him. Okay. They lost in the hearing. Why are you making the city to be the bad guy here? They tried to terminate him. They wanted him to be fired. That's what the administrator just said. Okay? Bad or good about unions? The union representative, you have to go through a hearing. That's the process. Collective bargaining is in your agreement. That's how they that's how they negotiate. That's how people get fired, hired when you're part of a public employee union. Okay, whether you like it or not. Like the play. You don't like the play, you don't like these rules either, but that's what it okay. is. All right, but then I me mean personally, right. regardless of what the city the union decision is, my character couldn't allow me to work with the person under that situation. Well there might be other people like that in the city. That's what are you one of those people? Absolutely. Are you comfortable, you're comfortable working with the person? No, I said no, I'm with you. I'm so so when he returned, will you resign in your position? Why would I resign? He's not going to work with me. What would I resign? Why would you resign? <laughs> what would I resign? What would I resign? Why, why would I resign? Because, because the city is employing a person. I don't know why you don't find me if I go. Because the city is employing a person. The city is going to give a paycheck. Why should resign? Hold on, hold on. The city is going to give a paycheck. You, so got, you got another minute and ten seconds. All right, I'll let, somebody, I'll let somebody speak. Okay. All right. The reason why I'm gonna focus on this on this situation because this is a young, this is an educated woman right here. She went to law school. I know that. She has degrees. Absolutely. This man had no reason to say I hate that fucking nigga. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because no, because he's trying to cover it up. We no, all no. But now you. he's returning. Now he's returning, he's and she has to still work with this man. She has to still work with this man. I don't know. You know what you know what that word did to our people? That was the And he's no oh, wait, wait, wait. He's under he's under raw supervision. There was no pins for her. Nobody, not one person, he said I hate that fucking nigger for no reason at all. That woman did nothing wrong to him. Not one person can't for in this room anymore, you're gonna have to leave the room. There's no person allowed. I don't leave the room, but you're gonna employ him for him saying it? But he's gonna get a city check. He's gonna get a city check, you're gonna reprimand me. 
But he has got some money for under the city. You gonna reprimand me? Yes. I hate that fucking nigga. Okay. Now you can leave. You're done talking now. Now, you're done. You're done. I'm staying. You can stay here. You're not talking no more. I'm staying. Did you support him? We find a loophole to keep him employed. That's right. I don't care if I don't agree with her or not. That's my sister. I'm gonna stand up for her. I don't care what. That's right. Yeah. yeah. But, hey, listen. I never hated her. You're done talking. I never hated her. I don't agree with what she do. But if somebody disrespect her, I'm going to stand up for her. Thank you. It doesn't matter what color it is. Your time is up. It doesn't matter what color it is. Thank you. And Rose was aware he was all that. And he stepped back and approved them. Thank you. And not one pin was brought here for her. Anybody else wish to talk yeah. to the public in the public yeah, hearing today? Like that. Would anybody else wish to speak? Speak. Yes, sir. Once again, uh, I, I think that first of all, it is great to see so many people come out. Uh, yeah, they come out from Barry, though. And want to want to be here for uh, to see what the city council does and to, to speak up and stand up for what they believe in. And I I want to say that this is now two meetings in a row that not everyone can fit in the room. We need to move this meeting to a bigger room. There's one across the street at the freeholder room. Is there anybody against that? Can we do that? Yes, I'm against that. Why are you against that? Because this is normal. This is normal. What do you mean everybody can't fit in the room? You can fit 80 people in this room. But there's some. Time. I'm saying there's folks who, who would. Listen, it is awkward in this room even when there's not a large crowd. Uh, and and uh, the. the People might not know this room used to go deeper until the business administrator's office was built. The city's grown over time, these meetings have grown over time, and we need to move them to a place exactly. where every member of the public can take into consideration. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask if the council has a, a, anything to say about the crime statistics. The armed robberies are up 172% in the first three months of 2014. Um, what, what can you tell us about that? Why is that happening and what's being done about it? Uh, I really don't know much about it. I haven't seen a report about it. Uh, no one has given me a report. Uh, I'll, I'll let the hear what Captain M uh, Miller has to say about that. I don't think they can say about the climate yet. So. Are they, are, you haven't seen them? Do you know if they're right or wrong in the statistics? Are they going to be true? Where is the crowd go? Where did you get them from? The state, state police. The state police are right. That's what's our record. So is anything being done? Are the police taking any measures to, uh, to uh, you know, crack down on the burglaries? We work every day. Okay. Well, uh, I know it's Captain Miller's job to deal with press inquiries, and I, I'm a resident of Lewis Street, and on April 18th, I noticed that there was uh, some police activity in my neighborhood. The uh, door had been kicked down, undercover vehicles were coming in and out all day at the 72 Lewis Street home. And I, I, I've asked now three times just what was going on. I want to know my neighborhood, and I have not gotten an answer. So maybe someone has that answer tonight? Have you sent emails to, to find out? I CC'd you this morning on my most recent one, but I've asked three times now since April 18th. It's more than a month. I get a lot of questions on a weekly basis, not on a daily basis. I have to prioritize my work. I can't get to answer every one of his questions. As far as what happened on Lewis Street, as he indicated, there was another cover, another cover officer there, but I wouldn't tell him what was going on there anyway. I'm not going to comment on what happened on Lewis Street. You can't tell me a month later yes. what was going on on my, on my swap, on my street? No. Well, I think we need uh, to be better than that. Uh, I've asked many times about uh, whether or not Orion development, or is it Orion? I'm not sure. Uh, whether or not they've uh, met all the stipulations and the agreements they have with the city to get these long-term tax exemptions. I asked them if the uh, investigation be conducted, Mr. Patterson agreed to do that, and I've asked that uh, response for some time now. What is the response? Mr. Patterson? Yeah. Um, when Mr. Carnival asked uh, upon whether uh, the tax abatement agreement required the, the affordable housing uh, in that project, and no, it does not. Um, I wouldn't know on the, the other uh, uh, requirements of that, but it doesn't want to be a finance department. But he'd ask me specifically about the, uh, uh, the affordable housing, and uh, that's not part of what a uh, uh, financial agreement for the agreement is. Let's be clear, the planning director doesn't know if all the stipulations of the agreement have been met. He wasn't asked that. He was asked one specific thing, and he answered. You're 
got an order. Yes, sir. And I apologize for the council. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't like saying this. This town is not perfect, but there's a million good things. Why, uh, why you, other towns? Well, you choose to recognize them or not. It's your business. Uh, you're looking at the compensation schedule for school crossing guards, uh, and we will have a uh, uh, recommendation to the mayor for September 1st when uh, there's a new school season. Because this this new school coming up, I would like to know if they're going to do like a traffic light because it's still speeding. And I don't see any officers around Livingston Avenue. Uh, what, uh, and we need more cops to join that area in, in Livingston Avenue. Okay. And detectives. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of drug dealing going on. And it hasn't stopped. And I see it lately outside. Because I walk with my kids, take them to, you know, I, I'm four weeks vacation right now. And I've been seeing a lot of drug dealing and drinking on the street. And I don't see the officers. Well, I can assure you that Boogie's Avenue has been a top priority ever since the accident. I've seen a lot of cops around here myself, but I've got that every day. And uh, there's still more we can do, and we're definitely working on a better solution. And anybody who agrees about the crossing guards, anybody who agrees about the police, and we're working to get to, to, to straighten that out. Can you at least put a traffic light there, or at least? It's not, it's not up to us. It has to be a study done. It's a county-owned road, and I know people look at us like saying, yeah, you just passed it off. But can the county... We have no jurisdiction over that road as far as the road lights. Can the county do something about it? Or sure. Can they... Yeah, if you go to a county board of three old meeting, they're the ones that can decide where the traffic light is. At the end of this meeting, can you give me the phone numbers? I can just at least contact them and... Sure. Uh, I just to uh, the uh, the very closest people they meet, and uh, I believe you might have to schedule or something might happen. You have to get some information. I think that at the next meeting, can we at least get a? Because last time there was a lot of people in this building. There was more than 100 people, and they, they did not fit. It. They were outside waiting to come in to uh, to this counseling meeting. I think we should adjust this meeting at the next building. Because the next building is more than we'll, we'll take that under consideration. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Captain. Um, I just want to say, throughout this whole situation, uh, as council members, I know that we continue to pray for children and everybody, not just the children, but everybody. It was many families affected by that, including the director and everybody else. On that note, I just want to say that Whenever something like this happens, there's always two types of situations that arise. Last time we were in here, there was news cameras all over from every single major network. And some people looked at that at the point saying, you know what, how can I exploit this situation for my political gain? And it would have been easy for us to speak up at that time, you know, hey, I can get on the national media right now. But unfortunately, some people just look at this as a show. And after the cameras are gone, we still got to live here. And I disagree wholeheartedly, even though I don't speak to directly to anybody, New Brunswick is still a great place to live. You know, sometimes we say, okay, this city is so down and stuff like that. Well, if it's that much down, you have to do something to improve your community. Plain and simple. You, if I know there's drug dealers in my community, I'm going to call the cops. If I know something happens in my community, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on the phone right away and do something about it. We can't sit there and clean up communities. We can't go out there and sweep up communities. If you see trash in your community, organize something to make your community better. Whenever we see something like this happen, we always see. You know, we talked about firemen before. We said he runs in a burning building. Well, guess what? Sometimes we have to act like firemen also. Whenever something like this happens, you got two choices. You can be a fireman, you can be an arsonist. A fireman will put out a fire and try to make sure nothing like that ever happens again. But unfortunately, we have too many arsonists in this community who once one fire is put out, they'll go see another situation, try to rise up and stoke the fires again, instead of trying to make sure it doesn't happen again. We had a lot of racial stuff that went on. You know, people said, well, if this was a person, if this guy was not black, I had never, ever, ever heard somebody say that a black man is not going to be arrested for something. <laughs> But we still got to live here in this community. Everybody's got to pull together. We want to see everybody out. Otherwise, other voices. And unfortunately, we're one of the only communities we, we transport or we import our so-called activists. We have people who come in from other towns. We're talking about North Carolina and this. We got people from other towns who come in and stir up stuff in our town. 
Then they move out and then you don't see them anymore. And then what's left? We still have to live here together. We still have to be the ones that live in this town together. And you know, regardless of whatever anybody else says, my vision of the brother is that we're still moving forward, we're still a great city, and we still have a lot of work to do. That's all I got to say. Well, Valley.